What's down, what's down, Charlie Brown? It's that time of the month again. That's right, Aunt Flo is in town. No, it's time for Hall of Heroes. Hall of Heroes, all jokes aside, very serious, very serious Hall of Heroes video. This is Misty, the light jack-o'-lantern. Very serious, D don't laugh, don't laugh. This is not a joking matter. It is October, it is the month of Halloween, and for some strange reason, they've decided, no, don't laugh, don't laugh. For some strange reason, they've decided to give us the jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. Do they think this is a joke? Does Comptress think that this- Don't laugh! Don't- I can't- <laughs> Mr. Okay, 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 okay. They do this every year. They give us the pumpkin every year. We knew this was coming. Everyone knew this was- Here's the greatest thing. Everyone knew this was coming, but still people are angry. They're like, I can't believe they gave it- Like, we knew- we... Everyone knew. Everyone knew for a year, for two years, that this was coming. <laughs> Okay, anyway, like Jack-O-Lantern Hall of Heroes, it's this weekend. Let's take a look at him. Let's see what he does. So, is the light Jack-O-Lantern a great, amazing monster? He's a light, dark, nat 4. Most of us have not summoned him before. Is he worth building? Is he amazing? Is he OP? Is he complete garbage? Somewhere in the middle. He's kind of like a C student. He's kind of like a C student. For most people, he's probably not going to change the game. He's not going to be your amazing OMG. Uh, dungeon run monster or your super crazy guild war champion or your arena offense or defense champ vaguely you say tell me he's not usable to anything not quite he's got a few he's got a few uses so let's take a look at what he does first skill triple hit speed break same as chilling where is chilling used you can use chilling in the dungeons in Kairos dungeons pretty nice you can use chilling even in RTA and guild siege right so think about where you can do chilling but for some of those places He's used because he's stripped, right? So, uh, I wouldn't say that Misty has got the same situation, but he's the closest to chilling without a strip. But, he's got a little, uh, he's got a little bonus instead of a strip. Uh, Ghost Appearance. This is nice. This is not like chilling, right? So this is four hits, 30% chance to cast one random effect, uh, attack power, uh, attack power break, disturb HP recovery, and glancing hit. Four hits. Three debuffs, where could that be? Necro. Okay, he's actually like the fire one, and I have the fire one, so I'm like the only person that's built the fire one. Um, and he's similar to, he's kind of similar to this in the problem, because he does um, extra damage based on the amount of, uh, or no, no, extra speed, extra speed with his passive. Misty does extra speed with his passive based on the number of uh, uh, debuffs on him. So anyway, um, he's like the fire one. So I have the fire one built on the Asia server, I use the fire one for two things. Well, I also use him for Guild Siege. I use the Fire One for Guild Siege. I use the Fire One for Necropolis. I changed my Necropolis team to make it faster, but I was using the Fire One for Necropolis, and I still use the Fire One for a second R5 team. So Misty's kind of similar to that. The thing that Misty does that's different, though, becomes immune against inability effects. Ooh, there's not a lot of monsters that do that. So, things like... Well, a lot of immunity effects, like... You're not going to be worried about immunity effects in dungeons, right? You may be worried about immunity effects in, like, R5, and he's got four debuffs for R5, right? Also, maybe some Guild Siege. So, maybe Necro, maybe R5, maybe Guild Siege. Maybe even some, because he has four debuffs, maybe even some um, Labyrinth content. What about Dimension Hole? Because I'm not going to use him, I mean, he could be used in Giants, like if you're early game, but a lot of stuff can be used in Giants. So, does he get credit for can be used in Giants? I don't quite know about that, he doesn't, his, his, his passive immunity against the inability effects doesn't really do anything there. Necro, he's decent. Dragons, no, I would never use him in a million years. TOA, no, I would never use him in a million years. Uh, arena Offense, no. Arena Defense, no. RTA, once in every 20 matches, maybe. Not, not really, not like, oh, okay, so you're saying keep picking Vertiheal. Yes, I'm saying keep picking Ver keep picking Vertiheal, Lauren Fran. Those are the RTA monsters, not Misty. Uh, although Misty is kind of nice, think about it this way. He's got a lot of multi-hits, so he's nice against Gary, he's nice against Triana. You do see some of those Garrow Triana defenses in Siege, so I can see him use the Necro Siege and some Rift the Worlds, uh, the Dark Rift Beast. You need multi-hits and light units. Dark Rift Beast, he's going to be great for the Dark Rift Beast. Not a lot of people have trouble with the Dark Rift Beast, though. More people have trouble with the Light Rift Beast. Um, so, yeah. I mean, he's very limited usage. 
for most people, they're not going to get a huge bang for their buck, especially if they, have, if they have teams for all of this stuff already. But maybe if you're like early game transitioning to mid game and you're looking for something that is useful in a few of those niche places like Necro R5, because not like an end game R5 team. Well, these guys, he's got he's got damage and he's got four debuffs though. I really feel like he's not even that bad for R5. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm going to build him and use him in a second team on R5 for alts. Seriously. Um, but I'm not going to use him in everything. I'm going to use him for R5 for alts, and I'm going to use him in some Guild Siege. And that's probably the extent of the usage that he's going to get. Necro, if you have twins, twins are still great. But he's got he's got multi-hits and four... Speedbreak is really good in Necro, too. So definitely in a first Necro team, he could be usable. But, like, all these pumpkins can be usable kind of in early game Necro teams. He's still better than... Remember remember we did get uh, this guy? <laughs> so if you're, he's still better than Dusky. He's still better than Dusky, okay? He's still better than Windy. So, not even that bad, bro. He's not as... I feel like Chilling's just got more usage. Uh, more uses, but I think Misty is probably like the second. I would I would rate him second. This guy's uh, he's got this, but I feel like Misty is probably the second best pumpkin. But being the second best pumpkin is not saying it's not saying like oh my god the second best pumpkin. <laughs> anyway, those are the places that I would use him. Dungeon leader skill crit rate. We're never going to use this. No one's ever going to use this. It's Rift of Worlds for R five. Maybe first team, like beginner transitioning or something like that. Because he's four debuffs, man. Four debuffs for R5 and immune. immune. Also, we didn't really even touch on this. Your attack power is increased by 20% for every beneficial effect on you. Uh, which doesn't... I mean, if you bring him in with a Freyan or a Wusa or something like that, that's extra buffs for extra damage, right? And the damage based on uh, speed and speed. So if you make him really fast, you get that extra bonus of not having to make him super squishy all the... Excuse me, all DPS. Because you could kind of build the other ones kind of hybrid as long as they're super fast. And they'll do some decent damage just from being fast. So, you have this and then your attack speed increases proportion to the number of harmful effects. So, if he's got a lot of buffs and debuffs in general, not that bad, right? So anyway, yeah, I feel like, I feel like that's, that's, I, I basically said where I would use him like five times in a row. Maybe some Necro, maybe some R5, kind of more on the early game side of the spectrum, not end game on either of those, um, but maybe useful for the, like a second team. Uh, Guild Siege, Dark Rift Beast, I said R5, maybe Dimensional Hall, I really, maybe Dimensional Hall, maybe Labyrinth, and maybe every once in a blue moon in RTA, but not really. Are you gonna put your best runes on him to be able to use him one in 20 times in RTA? Probably not, but I could see him being useful maybe against some things like Gany Hathor Triana, maybe. But very limited usage. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even pick him. I, I, I'd probably forget about him more than anything else. I'd be like, hmm, this one situation where N forgets completely about Misty in the one in, tw in the 3% in, in of times that you can actually use Misty in RGA would forget about him. Because you can't, like, just build Lauren Fran. Just build Lauren Fran for a heal a Jir. A Jir was a hall. You guys remember a Jir was a hall of heroes, too. And Tar is well, Fire Lich hall of heroes. So, I don't feel like this guy's gonna get a buff, though. Um, I know, because some people are gonna be like, he needs a buff. He's got a few usages. A, a few uses. So, I think the other pumpkins are so much worse. <laughs> so much worse. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys at least got some ideas of where to use him. Honestly, I don't know if I would build him for everyone, but some people might find some uses out of him. Like I said, I found some uses out of the Fire Pumpkin. I actually use him. I don't really regret building him on the Asia server. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.